uh, all that money. I got this. It's not like I'm really going to be spending much time playing this game anymore, so might as well use it on something. This door's on lockdown. Elcor. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved, I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious, you seem familiar. I had a discount at your store the last time I was here. Enlightened, I see. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative, the general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife. Upon taking over, I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. There's nothing in there. Why did I click on it? <laughs> I already bought everything. I think I figured out where you want to go. Talk to me, Anis. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. A processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So, like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyreen. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. This is long. Shepard, got a second? I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. How did you get mixed up with Arya? 
I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us, I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. I appreciate it, Nyreen. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. All right. Commander. The steel sea is fun. But it's disappointing at the same time, I admit. Um Pardon me. I think because it's... It's so straightforwardly about a battle plan. And that's the most... Bland kind of storytelling to me. Because I'm not all that interested in people... Hearing people talk about tactics. I'll get it. <gasps> Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? Hey, call According me to the Joe. schematics. I ran Omega Nirene. I didn't work the mines myself. No. You had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. If it was shorter but with more emphasis on story parts, would it be more interesting? <sighs> I don't know. Like, it's always one of those things where I don't want to play armchair developer too much. I don't want to say, well, only if it were like this. But just looking at it as it is, I'm reminded of the best DLCs in, why th in the Mass Effect universe and why they were so good. Like, uh, Lair of the Shadow Broker, which was not only... This is super atmospheric. But so was Lair of the Shadow Broker, but Lair of the Shadow Broker also had it's a, bloodbath. a lot of really good story touches along with some great action and one of the best combat environments. And then looking at something like Overlord did something new and different. It had a really cool boss fight um, and some really cool atmospheric stuff going on. And again, some really great and creepy storytelling and that stuff's very much missing here um, again I don't want to get too involved you know talking about what ifs and doing too much comparison but I don't know, you take the you take everything away from the shooting and, and suddenly Elevator you know the shooting in and of itself it's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a map. Isn't awesome on its own, although it does. Even then, I don't I think. Power the door. I think we a lot of people them. go to the, the multiplayer, you know, because the action's good, but I think it's also like the overarching stuff. You know, the possibilities of earning more classes and things like that in, in the Mass Effect multiplayer that also makes it compelling. 
but when you just take the action and have it on its own and make it feel more or less like a a military shooter in space it's it's definitely not as interesting but this still has maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds don't kid yourself I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. It has a lot of great uh, atmosphere, like I said. I, that's that's the thing I like most about this is Get you're in a variety of environments. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. Well, you mentioned the story is one thing about fighting. Covered. I mean, that's very true. Spirit. Oh, hello. But then that's the question that we that came up before. It's not just about whether a game does well what it is it's trying to do. Is it is what it's doing worthwhile? in and of itself. And so you could ask that same question here. Well, it's about fighting, sure. But is being about fighting enough? I hate those things. Hate should make you deadly. That looked like fear. That's that was Alright, back to the door. Best to get new armor and weapon types. Definitely a lot of weapon pickups. I'm not sure about weapon types yet or armor. I don't know if I've picked up any armor. It seems like the kind of thing that's almost expected in Mass Effect DLC, though. Damn. Oh well, well, it worked out. <laughs> 